Hi, this is Julie. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about our breath, explore a breathing practice, and see how breathing practice and meditation can go hand in hand. Did you know that your breath is the fastest way to affect your body's well-being? It's automatic and so easily overlooked, but it's a reliable pathway in our nervous system dedicated to helping us regain balance in mind and body. It's powerful. Our breathing is the only autonomic function in our body that we actually have a say over. Changing our breathing can help us calm down in minutes. How does this work? As we inhale, our heart rate and blood pressure increase, and as we exhale, they decrease. So by slowing down our exhalation, we trigger our parasympathetic nervous system. This is our rest and digest system. The opposite is our fight or flight reaction, which is our sympathetic nervous system. We should have a balance of the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. But unfortunately, we do not. Many of us spend a lot of time in the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response, as a reaction to daily stress, to pain, to all different types of situations. This is not healthy for our bodies. We seek balance. Our bodies and our mind seek balance. So we can change how we feel by using our breath because we can't always do it with thoughts alone. Think about it. If you're experiencing intense emotions like anger or fear or anxiety, you really can't talk yourself out of it. But learning to use your breath is a powerful tool that can help us handle the chronic stress that affects our overall well-being and our sense of balance. There's a lot of research to back this up. Research showed that emotional states are associated with distinct breathing patterns. Each emotion had a distinct breath that went with it. They did studies where participants were given breathing instructions that correlated with certain emotions. Later, when asked, they said that while practicing the breathing, they felt the emotions that corresponded with the breathing pattern. We can change how we feel using our breath. There's also been many studies regarding breathing interventions with veterans, those who have PTSD or chronic anxiety. The breath practices were shown to restore their ability to be resilient. By decreasing their symptoms, they could sleep, relax, and move on with their lives. Slow breathing works so quickly. Why? Well, it activates the vagus nerve. This decreases the fight or flight response, even in the adrenal systems. This is why you can calm down rapidly. And you can handle many different situations more effectively with a calm mind. Since we know that heart rate and blood pressure increase on an inhalation and decrease on an exhalation, by slowing down that exhale, it can trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps you rest and digest, and you will calm down in minutes. Let's just try a short practice with this. Simply inhale for the count of three or four, and then exhale for the count of six or eight. Inhale one, two, three, four, exhale, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a great practice to close your eyes and bring awareness to your breath at different times of the day. Do you feel it shift with your emotions? Very often, we already know to take deep breaths during a difficult time. And we can feel ourselves breathe more quickly in times of anxiety or anger. Once you begin to be aware of this, you can gain more control. So when you feel your breath becoming quicker and more shallow, you can consciously slow it down, breathe into your abdomen to relax, practice deep and slow belly breaths with longer exhales during challenging situations. Let's practice a type of breathing together now. This type of breath is called alternate nostril breathing. It can be practiced daily or just during difficult times. Let's begin. Sit comfortably. You can rest your left hand on your leg or wherever is comfortable. And let's take the index finger and middle finger of our right hand to the space between our eyebrows. Now gently rest your thumb on your right nostril and your ring finger and pinky finger on your left nostril. Take a nice, easy breath in. Then close the right nostril and exhale out of the left nostril. Inhale now into the left nostril. Close the left nostril and exhale gently and slowly through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril, then close the right nostril and exhale through the left nostril. Use this breathing direction for a few cycles. You are basically switching after each inhale. Inhale through one nostril, then close that nostril and exhale through the other. Inhale through that same nostril, then close it and exhale through the other. Inhale through one nostril, close that nostril and exhale through the other. Inhale through that same nostril, close it, and exhale through the other. Practicing this breath for only five minutes can have lasting effects on your body and mind. We'll just practice a few more rounds now. Remember, you're switching after each inhalation. Alternate nostril breathing can help cool your mind and emotions. It works because at any given time, one of your nostrils is dominant. You'll notice right or left has air flowing through it more smoothly. And your dominant nostril alternates, alternates throughout the day. One of the reasons alternate nostril breathing 
has a calming effect is that it gently allows for airflow through both nostrils, which creates a sense of balance for your body and your mind. The long-term effects of daily consistent breathing practice will lead to more resilience over time, just like an exercise or meditation routine does. You can use daily breathing practices to train your nervous system to be prepared and resilient no matter what arises. Breathing normally now, you can rest your hands, notice your body's posture, the way that you are sitting or lying down. Take a few moments and a few deep breaths as we begin our meditation. Become aware of the body, upright, yet soft and relaxed. Notice any sensations you feel in the body. And then let's focus on our breath. Softly breathe, natural pace. Gently now, focus your breath as if you were breathing more air through the left nostril, both on the inhale and the exhale. There's no forcing here. Just simply become more aware of the feeling of the breath moving in and out through the left nostril. Shift your focus to even breaths now. And let's move our awareness to the right nostril. Notice the breath, both inhalations and exhalations. Notice how you feel them moving in and out through the right nostril. Again, there's no need to change your breath in any way. We're just moving our awareness, focusing on the feelings, sensations at the right nostril. Let's bring our awareness now to the feeling of the breath balanced and even through both nostrils. Softly focusing on the awareness of the breath moving in and out of the body through both nostrils. Let's practice now increasing the length of our exhalation. You can count in your head in any way that works for you. I'll do a few rounds with you and then you can go forward on your own at your own pace. 
Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice big inhalation. One, two, three, four. Long, slow exhalation. Two, three, four, five, six. Continue on your own now for a few more cycles of breath. Simply extending the exhalation a few beats longer, or maybe even twice as long, as the inhalation. Come back to your natural pace of breathing now. Gentle awareness on how you feel, how your breath feels, how your body feels and any sensations there. We can change how we feel using our breath. We can use breath practice on a daily basis, not just during difficult times. This can help us to regain balance in our body systems. It can help us cool our mind and emotions. You can use breath practice with extended exhalation or the alternate nostril breathing as a way to train your nervous system to be prepared and resilient no matter what arises. Breath practice along with meditation can lead to greater resilience over time. Thank you for joining me. May we all find peace, no matter what we are given.